everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is I me. I have been missing you. Just know when I'm absent from YouTube that I miss YouTube and everything about it. But the thing that I miss the most is my subscribers talking with you, chit chatting. I I love it. I love it, and I'm going to get back so, to it. I have uh, been uh, doing a major overhaul to my home. I uh, completely shut down my YouTube room, my office. I packed it up completely. Uh, some of it's in the living room to go to the shed. A lot of it I dispersed uh, throughout the home, whatnot, through uh, Linda and I no longer being friends. I packed up most of uh, all of the things that remind me of her that she had um, sent me to go in the yard sale um, stuff in the shed. So I have a living room floor, you know, neatly piled with things that go I've in the shed. I've got a few more uh, knickknacks and pictures and things to hang on the wall. I completely moved my jewelry boxes from off of my vanity onto the and dresser. I have created a little cubby hole in my bedroom where I can get away uh, for a moment of peace and quiet to either color in one of my coloring books, get on my computer, fiddle with my phone. I have this area here now. Um, to where I can shut my bedroom door and come in here and um, relax. Um, the transitional period um, was hard on me only because I spent so much of my time in silence. You know, pretty much brought that on myself from spending my days in silence instead of listening to the radio or the TV or, or whatever, you know, make some noise in my life. Um, I've been doing really good with my vaping. I'm still smoking a pack of cigarettes a day on some days. Some days it's a lot less. Um... But I am still going for the transitional period, the transition over to vape from cigarettes and completely leave the cigarettes alone. Just no I plan no on doing that at the end of this pack. I finally, with combinations of vape from here and there, with different milligrams of nicotine, came up with a 15 milligram nicotine strawberry peach watermelon menthol blend that I, I do really believe like. I'll be able to smoke that, just that. And be satisfied. So please let me know how you guys are doing. Karen, Donna, um, you know, Cindy, everybody um, uh, share. If I can't, uh, I miss you. If I apologize. Um, leave me a comment in my comment section and let me know what you guys have been up to. I like. really, really would enjoy reading all of those. If you would take the time to send it, to I will read. Um, I'm thinking about getting a minivan. Um, I'm thinking about going through drive time where I got my little butterfly machine. And um, inquiring on um, a minivan, a Dodge Caravan, like a uh, tw 2000, not a 2000, a 2010, you know, somewhere around in there, Dodge Caravan or near. I don't want something that's going to fall apart the first week that so, I get it. you know, this is 2018. I'm probably going to go, I'm not going to go back any more than eight years, period. So, I'm um, thinking on calling drive time and see what I would have to do, how much it would add to um, my um, interest to switch over to find out if they even have anything. So, uh, I'm going to be checking into that because my car... Uh, is not big enough. You know, with my daughter and two of my grandbabies living here and the other grandbabies wanting to ride back and forth. Um, I need a Dodge Caravan. It's just that plain and, plain and simple. Um, I really, really do. 
And um, let's see, what else do I want to chit chat um, about? Let me think. Yes, I'm going to have to have Little Feller put to sleep. I cannot figure out what it is in his environment that he's allergic to. He, I took everything away, even the tuna, and he almost got well. He was a smidge away from getting well, and poof, it just all came back with a vengeance even worse than it was. And that had happened before. You know, that baby's been on baby food, chicken pureed baby food, and he got to the brink of being well, and poof, nothing changed, and it was back again. He is suffering so. He spends his days and nights. Suffering, digging, scratching. My husband has threatened to declaw him. You know, if I thought that it would work, I might consider having him declawed, even though it is inhumane. To have that done to your cat, if you knew how they did it, you would think twice. They go in there, say this is the claw, they peel all of the skin back and expose the bone and the claw. And then they take a saw and they cut that digit off and they pull the skin back up over the bone, the cut off bone, and they stitch that and uh, let the cat heal up. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want anybody peeling the skin back off my finger to about back here and cutting the end of my finger off and then pulling the skin back and sewing it up. In my opinion, that would set up arthritis and it would hurt for the rest of your life. I can't do that to my cat. I want to bring him the peace that passes all understanding through Christ Jesus. I will have him put to sleep and he will meet Christ right then and there. And we'll, um, we'll go from there. We'll, you know, they asked me when I made the appointment, did I, I want to have them to dispose of him? And I said, no, ma'am, I will be bringing my baby home. So, um, I will um, keep you updated on when Little Feller's um, day is. But that's all I'm going to chit chat uh, about. Be right safe, now. Every be kind to one another, and keep an eye out for my videos because I am back. Oh, real quick, my new series, Family Time. Uh, coming soon, the first video is going to be uploaded uh, one day next week, probably Monday. Keep an eye out for it, people. It's going to be uh, antics of my grandbabies and just us living life here. Be safe. Be kind to one another. I'll see you again in my next upload. Bye!